Hi, I'm Danny from BuyTwoWayRadios.com. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the menu options available on the Titera MD380 DMR Digital Two-Way Radio. The options available on this radio are going to be a little different from what you're probably used to if you're new to the world of digital radios or DMR radios. Um, to begin with, the screen uh, gives you uh, a lot of information. Um, we see here um, uh, the channel that we're on and uh, the zone that we're in. Briefly, um, on this radio, you have, you're allowed to have 16 channels per zone. Um, up to a thousand channels total, so uh, you can have many, many zones. But zones are kind of a way to break up channels um, into groups. And um, I'm going to start by going into the menu and looking at my zone list. Um, what I have here are a lot of DMR repeaters that are in our region. Um, and for each repeater, you typically have um, different channels that let you go, um, for example, and one, some of these are Southeast Region, um, Monitor All, Echo Test. Um, so for this zone, for the Charlotte repeater, I have several channels all going through the Charlotte repeater that let me do different things. For example, talking worldwide or doing a test, uh, things like that. If you're used to an analog radio, um, you may uh, be used to the option to enter channels manually. Um, that's not really an option uh, with this radio, although there, there is some ability to edit a channel that you already have into the radio or that you already have programmed in the radio. Uh, really, you want to configure all your zones and channels through the programming software and just switch from one to the other while you're using the radio. Um, let's look at some other things that are available in the menu. Um, top of the list, we have our contacts. Um, in the contact list, what you can do is program in the radio ID of uh, different groups and people you may be communicating with and then their name when you're receiving receiving from them will appear on the screen. Um, this radio does allow you to um, add contacts directly from the menu. Um, we can activate scan mode. We can change the zone like I uh, showed you pr previously. Messages. Uh, this radio can send text messages. Um, you can write a message like um, you know, using the keypad like you may have done before on a, a flip phone in the past. Um, you can also, through the menu, uh, this quick text option, you can send a text that's pre-configured. So, you know, if you send the same thing often, you can add it to the quick text list and send it with a keystroke instead of having to type it. Um, we also saw uh, in messages that we can look at the, the messages that we've sent and drafts. It's fairly involved. Um, call log allows you to view missed, uh, answered, and outgoing calls. Um, utilities is where most of the settings are for this radio. Um, top option radio settings allows you to do things like um, going uh, on a talk around frequency um, instead of going through the repeater changing the tones I've got um, for example keypad tones are on by default I've turned them off for the purpose of this video so that it, it doesn't beep at us constantly um, we can switch from low to high power 
You can also adjust how long the backlight is on. Um, see five seconds, ten seconds, or always. Squelch settings, which uh, you don't have a lot of configuration there, but you, you can go normal or tight. Um, intro screen, you may have noticed when I first turned the radio on, uh, it said welcome. You can turn that off if you like. Keypad lock, allows me to lock the keypad. Language, I can choose between English and Chinese. The LED indicator is at the top of the radio, which shows me uh, that I'm receiving a transmission, for example. There's various Vox hands-free settings. Now, some of these options, like Vox, for example, and also um, a program radio option on, on the previous screen, are things that can be um, disabled through the programming software, so they disappear from your menu. Um, uh, timed out. Password lock lets you lock the radio and you can set the password in the um, programming software. You can also set the clock and mode allows you to change between channel mode and um, I guess frequency mode but uh, this is also different than analog radios where you, you may be used to frequency mode um, allowing you to type in frequencies from the keypad all it does here is change what's displayed out on the main screen. If I went to frequency mode, um, I would see a frequency here instead of the, the name. Uh, one more thing I want to cover, um, radio info. You can see your information on the And versions is uh, going to be your firmware version. Um, this program radio option is not on by default, but it can be turned on in the programming software, and it will let you change certain things once you enter your password about the channel that you're on currently. Um, we'll do another video uh, going through that in detail. And that's a look at the menu options on the Titera MD380 DMR Digital 2-Way Radio. If you have any questions about the Titera MD380, don't hesitate to give us a call, email us, or enter our live chat at buy2wayradios.com. If you like this video and want to see others like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash buy2wayradios. I'm Danny and thanks for watching.